so, uh, Deku screwed, right? Like, Deku's gonna die. As of chapter 333, I am so lost on how Izuku is going to beat Shigaraki. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a session where Izuku and the rest of class 1A team up. I don't think Izuku is going to one-on-one -on -one Shigaraki at the end of this story, but it's just, I'm massively blown away by the fact that Horikoshi thinks he can make Izuku win this fight realistically. For a few reasons, because holy crap, one, Star and Stripe, if Shigaraki can overcome this problem, I mean, I don't know what else he can do. With all the crap Star and Stripe did to him, and all the weapons and abilities and skills she used on him, I don't see a way she can get out of this. Now, obviously, Shigaraki isn't going to get a new order. Obviously, he's not getting it. In this chapter, she actually had it said and gave an order to new order. She set a rule that new order will revolt against the other quirks inside his body. Which is a great idea, but I'm simply questioning how the hell this is going to work. Because... Oh my god, I just don't even know. Like, I really don't. Because there are so many moving pieces in this. Be because Shigaraki, I mean, he took the laser, the giant cloud clap thing she did, and, she's, and he's fine. Like, he's gonna regenerate, and he's gonna be okay. And she's dead. When fight her way, Horikoshi... You need to stop killing off really strong female characters. You introduce them, and then you kill them. It sucks. I don't like it. But, uh, I just don't see what Deku can do. So I do want to talk about a couple ideas I have for what he can do. First of all, obviously, there are still other international heroes that are out there. But I think it's safe to assume that America's number one star, star and stripe. I think she was probably the strongest hero in the world, besides for All Might. But by the way, poor Endeavor is like, I'll be the, I want to be the number one hero. Like, Endeavor, you would never be the number one hero. Even if you became the number one hero in Japan, you were never going to surpass All Might. It was just never going to happen, which I think is really funny. But, if we're being realistic here, I don't think Deku, as he is right now, can stop Shigaraki, so I am going to say, I think another country, I don't know about America, will open their borders to UA and let them go. Maybe we will go to America. I think, I think going to America would really be the only thing they can do at this point, because, I mean, I guess maybe New Order revolting against the other quirks, maybe it could, like, take out quirks. Like, is it possible that New Order could, like, destroy certain quirks, like his regeneration ability? Which would obviously result in him being more easy to beat? I mean, another theory I had, which is, I've heard a rumor, I'm not sure this is true, that the second My Hero Academia movie, by the way, I had not seen the new movie, so can you do, we could not post spoilers in the comments, that would be great, but, uh, the second My Hero Academia movie, the second one, where, ba where he shared one for all with Bakugo, I heard a rumor that that would be the original ending to the manga. So I'm wondering if maybe, now that we have the concept of multiple quirks, is there anything that would stop them from sharing the quirk around Clack 1A with Pacific people? Like from sharing it with Bakudo and Toroki and Uraraka? And if he shared it with Bakudo, Toroki, and Uraraka, and they, like, so basically he gives it to Bakugo, Bakugo gives it to Toradoki, and Toradoki gives it to Uraraka, and Uraraka gives it back to Deku. Would Deku then have access to Explosion, Half Ice, Half Hot, Half Cold, and, and, gravi and Uraraka Gravity Powers? Like, could Deku indirectly be given the quirks of his classmate, which then they could then teach him how to use, and use those quirks to combat Jigaraki. 
Or could he even multi-share it in the way him and Bakugo did? But could he do that on a grander scale? Like, could he have the entire class share all for one, and they all tag team Shigaraki with, like, 100% matches at once? Is that something they could possibly do? Because even the time for that, they need to leave Japan. I mean, unless they do that, they do book share quirk thing, or the the revolt that New Order does is able to drastically weaken them. Like drastically, drastically weaken the character. Unless that happens, they're boned. There's no scenario where they win this. I just don't see. I'm starting to worry that it's becoming a Bleach situation. For those that don't know, I don't want to spoil it too much, but at the end of Bleach, the main bad guy was so powerful that viewers started asking the question, is it possible he wins? Like, is it possible the Bleach manga ends with the bad guy winning? Because nobody knew how on God's green earth Ichigo could beat him. I mean, he was so powerful. He could see into the future and, like, manipulate reality based on what he sees. Like, he was unbeatable, and they found a way to beat him. And I'm just starting to almost get kind of worried. Like, does Horikoshi even know how Deku's going to win? Because Shigaraki's so powerful, and you keep making him more powerful. Like, because there's always a third alternative. There's another alternative. Which if the revolt failed and he gained control of New Order, and he's even more invincible. That, like, nobody, that the hero get nothing out of this. Because the beginning of the story was very clearly the villain, the heroes owing one by the skin of their teeth, and now they're losing. And the villains are winning by the skin of their teeth. And I'm just... Like, is it, is it possible that... We're building up to a fight to mirror all for one versus all might with Deku and Shigaraki. Like we're big, building up to a second Kamino award, but is it possible that at the end of that fight Deku loses? Like, is that a possibility that Deku and Shigaraki fight and he loses, and they need to abandon Japan and go to America? I my I previously thought Star and Stripe would like take them to America and guide them. But she's off the table now. So there's a couple options. One, they just go to America with Aizawa, without a mentor. Or maybe All Might. All Might could take them to America. All Might could... He's not a hero anymore, but he's he been there. He could be their guide while they're in America. Or, here's another theory. If All Might goes to America... If All Might doesn't go, maybe while they're there, somebody to help them could be Captain Celebrity from Vigilante, the number one hero in America before Star and Stripes. Or at least, I think he was implied to be the number one hero in America. But that's a possibility that Star and Stripe... I mean, she's dead. Star and Stripe died in the last chapter. When, by the way, brilliant. Uh, it's, it's so brilliant, man. You thought, you thought to yourself, she would make a rule that her quirk couldn't be stolen. But she can't do that because she made a rule that she couldn't be decayed. So then she set a rule before, in the very beginning of the fight, and the rule was that, uh... New Order would revolt against the other quirks. Which, once again, go to show how ridiculously powerful New Order is. Her orders uh, stay in effect after she dies. It's an incredibly powerful quirk. But, I'm thinking they're gonna- I think they either need to go to America, or some other country, or maybe Deku can share, like, get the powers of all of his classmates by, like, sharing it between them, and he can become, like, some, like, super-powered superman X being that has, like, all the powers ever in the class. I don't know, because they can teach him a ton. Because the advantage there would, of course, be that the users of the court could just teach him how to use them. Now, I'm not sure if that would work. We don't still don't fully understand how All for One, how all, One for All works. By the way, I'm not gonna edit that out, forgive me. One for all, all for one, it gets confusing. But we still don't fully understand how one for all works. And it's entirely possible that this goes wrong. And yeah, I think personally that the most likely outcome is the next fight they have, Deku's gonna lose. 
But yeah, I just wanted to throw some ideas out there and just generally discuss where I think they could go. I think they're going to lose. I think they're going to end up in another country. I don't think they really stand any semblance of a chance. And I kind of just wanted to do a brief My Hero video discussing where this could go because things are wild right now in this manga. My Hero Academia is insane right now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me where you think this is all going to go in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out. Sorry for the lack of editing. Shueisha hates me.